dear friend myself professor k s banker and today i am going to discuss about the continuous cooling transformation diagram that is known as cct diagram so in cct diagram what happen uh, your substance will be cooled down at certain from one point to the certain temperature suppose this is your point at which your substance is heated and from that point it will be cool down so during this cooling process transformation occurs so here this is suppose room temperature and from here it will cool down continuously so this is called continuous cooling transformation okay and in uh, ttt diagram what happen suppose in ttt diagram your substance is heated to a certain level and from that temperature it will be cool at certain temperature and hold it to that temperature so this is a constant temperature at which all the transformation will occur and once transformation is finished then it is cooled down to room temperature okay but here in continuous cooling transformation uh, your substance is heated to a certain level and then from that point it will cool down continuously like this here it is heated to this level and from this point it will cool down continuously and during this process your substance will get the will get into cert, some solid through this transformation so in this process transformation will occur so this is called continuous cooling transformation so continuous cooling transformation is what a continuous cooling transformation phase diagram is often used when heat treating steel is there so in case of heat treating steel we will consider the cct diagram this diagram are used to represent which type of phase changes will occur in a material as it cooled at the different rate of cooling so cooling rate is different then you will get this different microstructure suppose uh, you know that this is the diagram in which suppose uh, here the cooling rate is slow so at that time you will get the perlite suppose cooling rate is fast then this first diagram then you will get the medium grain perlite and cooling rate is faster than this diagram then you will get the fine perlite fine perlite and if the cooling rate is very fast then you will get the martensite so here cooling rate are different slow this is slow and this is fast okay so at the slow cooling rate you will get the different microstructure and the fast cooling rate you will get the different microstructure so this diagram often used to represent which type of phase changes will occur in a material as it cooled at the different rate so here uh, as we know that the dotted line represent the ttt diagram and this solid line represent the cct diagram so as in this figure you noted that the cct diagram will start later than the ttt diagram because continuous cooling transformation will take more time then the ripple tree transformation that's why it will start later suppose this is the dotted line of ttt diagram so after this line after some time uh, the cct diagram will start as well as it will finish later it will also finish the later so it will take the more time for the starting of the transformation as well as at the end of transformation it will take the more time that's why in this figure you can seen that the cct diagram will start later than the triple t diagram usually the materials are cooled continuously thus the continuous cooling transformation diagram are appropriate for continuous cooling the time required for a reaction to begin and end is delayed as i told you in the previous slide thus the isothermal curves are shifted to longer times than the lower temperature the main difference between the ttt and cct diagram the no space for bainite in 
CCT diagram as the continuous cooling always result in the formation of perlite. So CCT diagram के अंदर बाइनाइट नहीं मिल सकता सो दिस इज द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन सी सी टी एंड टी 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 डायग्राम दिस डायग्राम आर ऑफन मोर यूजफुल देन ट्रिपल टी डायग्राम बिकॉज इट इज मोर कन्वीनियंट टू कूल द मटेरियल एट अ सर्टन रेट देन टू कूल क्विकली एंड होल्ड एट सर्टन टेम्परेचर एज इन द आइसोथर्मल कूलिंग ओके बिकॉज वॉट एपन इन टी 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 डायग्राम इट विल cool then it hold at certain temperature and it will be again cool down to room temperature so this is called isothermal cooling or it is called a constant it is called isothermal cooling or constant cooling because your transformation occur at constant temperature that's why now here i just end up this uh, concept of uh, cct diagram uh, and uh, i am just going to start the evolution and this will helpful for your examination which of the following phase does not obtain in iron carbon diagram so as we know that uh, in iron carbon diagram ferrite cement and, uh, and austenite will form so answer is d martensite martensite will not obtain in iron carbon phase diagram non equilibrium phases are shown for their time and transformation using answer is d ttt and cct diagram because iron and iron carbon diagram is a equilibrium diagram the cct or ttt diagram are used for one steel of specific composition because uh, we have drawn the tri triple tree and cct diagram at 0.8% carbon steel so this is a specified composition of steel that's why Uh, we can say that the cct and ttt diagram are used for one steel of specific composition what does cct diagram stand for answer is c continuous cooling transformation diagram that is cct diagram which of the following is not an alternative name for ttt diagram so we know that uh, the ttt diagram are also known as s curve c curve and baines curve that's why the answer is c that is adiabatic curve the first step in constructing a ttt diagram involves austenitizing because austenitizing is the first step to construct the triple t diagram because uh, we place our sample into molten bath to reach the austenitizing temperature so this is the first step austenitizing austenitizing of the sample for triple t diagram is done at which temperature so at above the eutectoid temperature because above the eutectoid temperature you will get the austenite okay so i'm just end up this lecture thank you very much all of you if you have any doubt then please comment me in the comment box of this video thank you all of you